All right, let's move on to building our gear assemblies that we're going to need to power our arm. In order to do that, we're going to use the Rev Core hex motor. It has a five millimeter hex bore that goes all the way through to both sides, and that whole shaft will rotate both ways. We're going to need a Core hex motor bracket. This is the bent version, as well as M3 by eight millimeter long screws to attach that to the Core hex, as well as some M3 by eight millimeter, four of them with four nylock nuts to preload this bracket after we've actually attached it. And that's important because it can be difficult to get to these if it's already preloaded. I'm actually going to flip the motor over and attach the bracket to this side. That way when it gets mounted in the robot, the text is facing out. Um, I always like to try to do that aesthetically. Anyway, so we're going to take our bracket and we're just going to line it up with these holes and get one started. And once we get one started, we can then go to the next and the next by just starting it and then following through. And I don't want to tighten these all the way yet. I want to just keep it on there and get to the next one and start all four first. It's good. And our last one here. And once we have all four started, we can then take our nut driver and start to bring these down. I'm going to do all of them very, very lightly first. And then once they are all lightly in there, I can then actually give it a little more and just snug these up all the way. And there we have our bracket attached to our core hex motor. We now need to preload this. So we're going to take our nylock nuts and we're gonna put the nylock nuts on the inside of the bend of this bracket. And I'm just gonna float it, grab it with my finger, put the screw through the other side, get it started and feed it in until it hits the plastic. Very good. And I'm gonna do the rest of them and get these all preloaded up so it can go into the robot as soon as possible. And there we have our core hex motor fully preloaded with the bracket mounted on. And that will just go into the robot and uh, we can move on to the next step of uh, getting the gear on it. All right, continuing with the hex core motor for the arm assembly, we're gonna take some five millimeter shaft and this is 90 millimeters long. We have three total shaft collars. This is a 15 millimeter hex spacer as well as we have our gear here, which this one happens to be 45 tooth. So we're going to take with our, start with our shaft rather. I'm going to find the set screw on here. I'm going to take my 1.5 millimeter Allen or hex key. Oh, this is the wrong size. Make sure I get the 1.5 millimeter. And I'm going to make sure that this set screw is hitting the flat side of the shaft. And I'm going to put this about flush for now, but that will be need to be adjusted later, most likely. Um, I'm going to send this shaft through the hex core motor until it's flush. And then holding it on this side, I'm then going to bring in our 15 millimeter spacer. And it has a hex inside of it as well, so it's got to line up the hex and then slide it on and push it all the way on. Now it's gonna kind of hold itself in place naturally. 
I'm going to line up my set screws here. So my other set screws facing here. So I'm going to line this one up here. I'm going to put a shaft collar on. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. I'm then going to put on a gear. It's our 45 tooth plastic gear. And then another shaft collar. And get this in and tighten it down. And that should be on the flat of the shaft. And pull that out. And there we go. So we have shaft collar on hex shaft going through the hex car motor, 50 millimeter spacer, shaft collar, gear, shaft collar. And this is our 45 tooth plastic gear. All right, the next step is to take our hex car motor, the preloaded gear. We're gonna take the hex cap screw side and we're gonna slide it down into this channel here. So I'm gonna start with the first one and line it up. And this can be a little tricky. So use the tool to rotate all of them in place. And if we get real lucky, they will go in. Um, let's see here. Can help to rotate it to face you. And there we go. And get that last one in. And now that's in and on this channel. So now this position doesn't matter yet. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna snug this up a little bit. So it's held in place, but we are definitely gonna need to move it to help mesh the gears later. So since this was so loose, um, just get it snugged up a little bit. And then we will come back and tighten this later. Um, so I'm going to loosen it a little bit more just so I can slide it. And then just lock the outside too. So it stays in place for now. Continuing with our arm assembly, we're going to need long bore bearings, three shaft collars. This is our five millimeter by 90 millimeter long shaft, 16 millimeter long M3 hex cap screws with the accompanying nylock nuts, as well as this is our large 125 tooth gear. So we're going to start with the gear and you're going to notice that it has a radial hole pattern on it. Um, this is going to be the, the part that really depends on what your mechanism is. We are going to build a very default arm position, but ultimately you're going to have to decide where and how this implementation, this mechanism works. So this is a guideline and this might be a good place to start, but ultimately you're likely going to change this depending on exactly what you're trying to do or accomplish, uh, whatever the challenge may be. So I'm going to start anyways at one of these holes and go in one, and I'm going to go ahead and put the 16 millimeter hex cap screw through and start a nylock nut. And this is basically a, a preload. This will allow an extrusion, oh, this will allow an extrusion to go on it later. Uh, there we go. Oop. This one's definitely fighting me, but it's okay. And so now for this particular configuration we're doing, I'm going to go ahead and count seven holes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the seventh one over, we're going to go in one again. And just push that 16 millimeter hex cap screw through and start this nut. And again, this can be wherever you want it to be really. This is a good place to start, and then you can adjust it to change angles and so forth as we go. So now that those are two are preloaded, we're going to take our hex shaft and go ahead and push it through. And then the nuts on this side, this side's going to actually get two shaft collars that we're going to kind of loosely slide on there. And then one of the through bore bearings long in this orientation with this little flange on the inside. And that will keep those shaft collars on there for now. On this other side is going to get one shaft collar and then a through bore bearing long. 
And once we're about here, we're then going to bring in two pillow blocks. And we're going to put one on each side of this. And we have our gear assembly ready to now go onto the robot. So I'm going to hold this and bring in our robot. And these two, these two pillow blocks are essentially going to be up here. So as I bring this up on this side, I'm going to look at this alignment. And they're actually already pretty well spaced, but I want to make sure that I need to move those bearings, those through board bearings around until I kind of get these in place. Now, I need to start up here actually, get these nuts in the slot. And there we go, that's good. And as it comes down, make sure these are lined up. If you need to grab your, your nut driver, you can, but I got kind of lucky. So now you'll see that the gear's coming in, but it's not meshing very well with this gear. So what we can do, with these pillow blocks in place, is just kind of push this gear over until it's pretty well lined up. And again, this can be adjusted as well. So we're just going to keep this approximately flush at the top and just snug these pillow blocks up. And do the other side as well. So push it down. And if it's, if it's not going down, this might be too high up, so I'm actually going to loosen this. I had loosened the two. Let that fall for now. And now get this pillow block flush at the top. And now, what we can actually do is look at it from this angle, and we want this to be as lined up as it can be, and now we want this shaft to push through. So the shaft is about even. So I'm going to go ahead and the shaft looks about even. This looks about good. I'm going to tighten this first shaft collar on the flat, making sure it's on the flat of the shaft. And then I'm going to take these two shaft collars, I'll loosen them just a little bit so I can have them all lined up. And I'm going to separate these out. So I'm going to keep them lined up, but separated. And I'm going to tighten this one first. I'm kind of compressing this against the assembly, not too tight, but just a little bit. And then I'm going to press this other one against the other side and tighten it. Ooh. So there's a little bit more play than I want, so I can loosen these a little bit slide them a little apart and making sure that everything seems well placed. Tighten it back up. Okay, that play is gone and it's rotating pretty freely. Now, taking my nut driver and taking the hex car motor, I'm going to bring it up and mesh these together. So, this gear mesh is very important. Now, it can be a little difficult to see on camera, but essentially, we're going to get this mesh such that the gears are, they're flush with each other and they're well engaged, but not forced. They don't need to be forced together. And then once it's in a good spot, we're going to go ahead and come in and, and tighten these hex core motor mounting nuts. So these nylocks get snugged up with the gear in good mesh. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it to be as good as we can get it to give it the best chance. And now we can see that we have some pretty good mesh. And it's definitely got the power behind it because this has a lot of reduction in it. So that mesh looks good. We don't want to force try and turn the gear at the moment. And we're ready for attaching the arm.